I just got to get this off my chest because I feel bad for you. Because you're scum. And I've got to help you not be scum. That's my job. Sign up to Patreon so I can help you better by you helping me. Help me help you. Has that joke ever been used before? Oh, no, that's right, because Saturday Night Live has been on for the last 30 years and they use it every week. Ah, oh, fresh. I have to tell you something. I've got to square with you because I am constantly pushing on this channel that if you aren't doing things that are moving you towards your goals, you are wasting your time. That's true, but I also don't want you to get too down on yourself because I hear this all the time, a lot of people going, oh man, I wish I knew this stuff in my 20s. I wish I knew this stuff before I turned 19. I wish I knew this stuff um, like while I was in the womb so I could prepare myself for the outside world. Wherever you are in stage, you just realize I've wasted a lot of time until this point. That is just naturally what happens. You will have wasted a lot of time by your deathbed. I waste a lot of time in my deathbed, but I think that one of the major things, indicators, sorry, of whether or not you are wasting time, truly wasting time, I'm talking bum wrapped in newspaper like they're fish and chips on a park bench outside, you walk past them and you put 10 cents in their coffee cup wasting time. Yeah, they're subhuman. I said it. Put that out of context, A-U-W-U. It's clearly not a joke. Not bitter at all. God, I'm glad that I have self-help. Man, you know what I've realized also, just as a little aside? If I didn't read all of these self-help books, the level that I'm at now in life, where you're bringing down governments and you have near-weekly media attacks on you, I, I would definitely be a nervous wreck if I didn't read a lot of Eckhart Tolle going, just take every moment as it comes, then it's not as bad. He's right. Thank you once again, little hobbit elf. You really make a lot of sense, but you take a lot of time to say. <laughs> That's where I come in. Just saying what he says a little bit faster, sign up to Patreon. So he... No, I've got to stop... Go back. Gotta stop using that so word. God, it gives me the shits. I'll give, I'll give, every time I do it, I'll give money away. I'll look back at these videos and I'll do it. <clears throat> I think that if you are one of these people that is sitting there thinking, I have wasted a lot of time in my life, first off, you should pat yourself on the back for that. Because if you have noticed that you are wasting a lot of time, you're ahead of 99% of the population to begin with. A lot of the population has this idea in their head that, I'm just relaxing, I'm just chilling, you just need to chill to relax. Now I've got a very skewed point of view on this because I'm obviously a type A, but I don't think that that's acceptable. I think that you should not be chilling out. You can socialize with people, you can uh, I'm not even going to use the word relax, but you are always doing something. When you are relaxing, all you are really saying is, I'm doing passive activity. Now, you could get the same results of four hours of just sitting around, chilling, whatever that means. I think it just means watching Netflix. Oh, that's Netflix and chill, yes. And this whole time I thought it was just a euphemism for dirty acts. You could be doing that, or you could be meditating and getting the same value of four hours in 15 minutes by chunking. God, that is a really type A way of talking about the benefits of meditation. Do it faster, yes! I love any book that is from the 80s that has someone that looks like Tony Robbins on the front doing this. That's the peak of self-help to me. Just so you know where I'm coming from. It will, look, you wouldn't be here if it didn't somewhat resonate with you. You'd be like, he's me. I'm going on to Oprah. Yes, Michelle Obama is a queen. I never noticed that before. People are always saying, I've wasted a lot of time. True, join the club. Everybody does waste time. In fact, you have recognised that you waste time means that you will be wasting a significantly smaller amount than the vast majority of the population. Pat yourself on the back for that. Just recognizing that. No matter what stage of life you are, stage of life you are, you're doing five years 
of active, focused, day in, day out grind. I've also got to stop using day in, day out, don't I? You're doing that as opposed to the people that just like to chill in that same five years. It doesn't really matter because the time passes anyway and you will be much further ahead than those people. The fact that you have recognized that is the first step. The second step is to just get to peace with the terms of this. It's not an excuse for the future of whether or not you're using passive and active time. Remember that video? Go back and watch that. It's not an excuse for just saying, oh, six, I can continue to play video games. But I am saying that if you have played video games in the past, it is a great benefit to you now. If you have played video games, you probably have a lot better hand-eye coordination than the average person. You probably are able to recognize patterns quicker than other people. And I would even hazard a guess, I could be wrong about this. I know that if you're watching television, you just go into a state where your brain is 20% less active than if you were doing nothing. As in dreaming, as dreaming takes, obviously takes more of your brain. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not even that remarkable. But still, what's up with that thing that's very obvious? If you're watching something, if you're playing games, you are still acquiring a skill. That's what I want you to focus on. Everything that you have done up until this point is a skill. Me talking into this camera right now is a skill that I'm not really honing because I don't go back and look at whether these are improving or not. This is really not my main focus in life. I'd like it to be. Ah, oh, God, I've become one of those people. I'm living on some day aisle. Just give me a comment if you know what that little reference is to, because I'm not giving it to you in this particular video. But if you do know, you've been doing your homework on Brian Tracy, haven't you? Ooh, somebody's getting ahead in life. Someone's not wasting time. Ooh, this is all fun, isn't it? All these little inside jokes amongst inside jokes. Just an inside joke gumbo. If you are one of those people that is doing that, fear not. Fear not because everything that you have done up until this point is a skill. Everything. Even sleeping. Whatever you have done, you have gotten really good at. It's just a matter of shifting those habits. So you already have the functional basic skill that is required, which is to just exist. But now it's just all of this, really, this is all the trick of life, is just shifting your focus to doing some activities over and over again until they become a skill. So if you are doing computer games, I'm not your mum, if you are doing computer games and you want to stop doing that, I highly recommend that you do stop playing computer games because it is just a half life, if you will. But what you can extract out of that is a much sharper mind. It's a mind that works a lot quicker. My editor, Connor, for instance, used to be a huge gamer, massive. Doesn't do it anymore because he spends all this time working on my videos and obviously he has a much shitter life as a result because now he's just a video slave. He's very, very good at what he does. He obviously acquired a lot of the skills of editing and he also acquired a lot of the skills of filming and got all of that as a nice little combo that he could sell his skills for at a very high rate and he earns every penny that he gets as well. He's top of his class when it comes to that. But I do think that a big component of the fact that he's such a good editor is to do with computer games. His mind just works faster. It works faster than the other people in the office who didn't do computer games. The computer games. He's able to just pick up and say, nah, that didn't work, that joke doesn't work, let's rekindle that joke, here's a better joke. He's able to do those things on the fly a lot better than the average human being. Another thing that I think it added into that, he wasted a lot of time watching BBC comedies. So he has much more highbrow humour, which is obviously very appreciated in an office that prides itself on, you can look at my Wikipedia, lowbrow humour. I don't know why that is one of the facts that they put up there. It's really strange that they just keep finding little sentences that I said as a side on Friendly Geordies and saying, fact, he definitely thinks everything he's ever done is lowbrow. Yeah? Even my live stand-up show where I was a French aristocrat pretending to be Malcolm Turnbull, talking, turning his biography into a stand-up show. Yeah, lowbrow. I was wearing makeup! Yeah. 
I think that it's just a little understanding that you need to have in life and it helps you regardless of whether you are wasting time or not, even though you will be wasting time for the rest of your life. It's just a constant skill in itself of what should I be doing now? I'll tell you what happens to me now. And this is just after years and years of self-help. It's actually a bad habit that I have because I find it very difficult to just enjoy moments with people because I'll just be sitting there being like, gotta work, gotta work, you're not doing enough. That has definitely happened. But if that is what you require in life, because I have other people that work for me, or friends, for instance, I have friends that have, <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's not true. They have excellent interpersonal skills and that helps them with their lot in life. And that they've obviously honed that very well. Usually, if I'm talking to someone within 30 seconds, I'll just be like, eh, this isn't about one of my videos, I'm bored, and then I'll just move away. And I'll go back to doing the video. It becomes instinctual not to waste time. And when it becomes instinctual, you start noticing it constantly everywhere. It's just like the consume glasses that you put on in that shit 80s film that actually sucks that everyone's like, it's pretty deep actually if you think about it. They did have mullets back then. I want the same for you. I want the same for you. If you want to get somewhere ahead in life, you just have to know that that is the psychology of the people that you are competing with that will be getting ahead. They have this thing in the back of their mind saying, I am wasting time. So you need to move towards that area. But all I need you to write down now, once you get out the little quote book, just want you to put this in. Everything, everything is a skill. And if you have wasted time in the past, you've definitely been doing something with your time. And if you are one of those people, I want you to sit down right now and write out what it is that you've done. What is the time that you have wasted? What did you spend it on? And then I just want you to invert it. I want you to look at what skill that is actually teaching you, because it's always teaching you something. Even kittens playing around with a ball of string, what are they actually learning? To rip a mouse's head off. But to the untrained eye, they're just playing around with string. It's like the Steve Jobs idea of connecting dots in your life. Another example is one of my friends who uh, wants to be a rapper, but is a bureaucrat. You just think he has no chance in hell. But I see this over and over from people in the corporate world. They are able to do what I did in 10 years of my life in the span of three. Nah, maybe not, five. Five of them. What took me double the amount of time they are able to do in this time. Why? Because they have learned the habits, because they have those pencil pushing jobs and punch jobs too, where they are always on the clock and they are managing things and so when they get into a creative space they're sitting there thinking okay i need to draw up a plan let's just get up a little modeling graph of where my trajectory is yeah okay i can get there they're thinking like that what are the people that they're usually competing with the creative field doing drugs it's very easy to see why they start rising up very quickly. I used to always think that the reason that lawyers uh, moved ahead in life in comedy, yeah, I think a huge part of it is connections, that they are coming from families of nepotism where they just go, oh yeah, that's my son. That's definitely an aspect of it. But I think the other big aspect that nobody ever talks about is the fact that they're lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> and so they are extremely regimented, organized people. Having said that, I think that they don't come up with particularly creative ideas, but they get to that creative job while a bunch of other creative people are sitting there going, oh, I can't figure out how to wipe my ass. There's a bit of a contrast there. And if you agree that there's a contrast there, remember your homework, write down that everything that you've ever done is a skill and all the ones that you've wasted time on, I want you to see, just to give you a good perspective of what you can act, how you can use these resources, just write them down. Here's the key question, takeaways from it though. Like this video, subscribe, and sign up to my Patreon for more words of wisdom that are only exclusive to people that sign up and don't cheap out for the dollar option and go the deluxe. Three bucks, or two, I can't remember. I think it might be two. Just give me five dollars for every video I ever upload. Okay? There it is.